Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today we're going to start actually setting up a pristine environment. Pristine is, is a word, but um, it'll be a clean environment. We'll be starting from scratch, kind of simulating what, what it would look like if we were to start up a, a new company and lay things out in an organized fashion. Um, we'll be using Azure DevOps as our pipelining tool. Um, we'll be using Terraform and Packer and many of the features that we talked about earlier. Uh, but in order to do this, uh, we're going to have to set up a multi-subscription environment in Azure DevOps so that we can have different Terraform uh, identities provisioned to different environments to reduce the blast radius from a security standpoint. So I'll be doing some configuration in Azure DevOps today. I'll be doing some configuration in um, Azure Active Directory. Um, not a lot of coding, but really just kind of organizing my environment, getting things set up so that I can start using Azure DevOps pipelines to, in a secure and an isolated fashion, provision things to dev and then provision things to prod. So that's, uh, that's what we'll be doing. So without further ado, let's get going. So I'm going to start off by just creating a project. Um, I'm going to call it Infra. And this is where all my infrastructure projects, uh, let's just call it infrastructure. Okay, it'll be a little more you know, uh, fancy. Infrastructure. So this is all my infrastructure projects. And this project, I'm going to have um, a couple of variable groups that I'm going to stub out. So I'm going to have a variable group for my dev. So this will be Terraform credentials and it'll be dev. And we're going to have arm subscription ID. We're going to have arm, uh, it grabs the whole thing, tenant ID. We're going to have arm client ID. And we're going to have arm client secret. Okay. So I'm just going to putting placeholders here for wh what this is going to look like. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and clone this and I'll call this prod. And it wants me to put in call this prod. Okay, there we go. So basically, I'm going to, when, when I create pipelines, I'm going to either link this variable group or, or this one, depending on the environment that I'm going to be targeting. So uh, now I need to go create the credential in Azure Active Directory. So I'm going to go to Azure Active Directory. I'm going to go create an app registration. I'm going to go create a new one called Terraform Dev. Now I'm going to grab the application ID. This is the client ID. I'm going to go to my dev. I'm going to plug that in there. That's not, that's not a sensitive value at all. Um, the client secret is. So I think this is the tenant ID. That's again, not a sensitive value at all. Um, my subscription, do I have my subscription? So I have two subscriptions here. One is for dev. So I'm just going to grab that subscription ID and slam that in there. Okay. So everything's all saved. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a new client secret. And this will be, um, this will be used for Azure DevOps. That's fine. I'm going to grab the value. A lot of people ask, like, do I need the secret ID? No, you need the value. Um, could be a little confusing if you're not used to creating service principles because secret ID kind of sounds like it might be the secret itself, but it's actually the value of the secret. Okay, so there we go. So I got that set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create an, another one for production. So I'm going to say Terraform prod and we're going to grab the client ID. Probably should have cloned it after I plugged in some of the reusable ones, right? 
Because if I go back and I look at dev, like, uh, the tenant's going to be the same, the subscription's not, right? So I'm, I'm using the same tenant, the same AAD tenant, but I have to go to my subscription list and grab the subscription ID for prod. And there we go. And the last thing I need is a client secret. We'll also call this AZDO. So this is just like, hey, you know, we're using this client secret for Azure DevOps. That's what it's for. There we go. Okay. Now the last thing that I need to do is I need to go and assign these Azure um, Azure AD service principles permissions to my the respective um, subscriptions. So I'm going to go grab contributor and I'm going to go select the principle that I just created, Terraform. What am I in? Am I in, am I in prod? I can't remember. Oh, man, that's kind of bad. Uh, what subscription am I in? Uh, is this the production subscription? Oh man, I'm, I'm terrible. Uh, 32 Charlie Foxtrot. 32 Charlie Foxtrot. That is not prod. <laughs> Whoops. So let's go change that. No, we don't want prod. This is dev. <laughs> Whoops. So we want Terraform dev. Of course, you got to spell it right. And that little icon just means it's a machine. It's, not, it's a computer user. It's not like a, a human user with, that has interactive login. Oh, good. I am in development. And so now that's that's there. So we have role assignments. So we'll see our Terraform dev there. And I'm the owner of the subscription. And then we'll go to production, maybe. And we'll add another role assignment. We're in production. OK. We're in production. So we're, again, again going to select the Terraform prod. I remembered this time. There we go. Done, done, done. Wonderful. Boom. So now I've got two service principles, one with credentials and role-based role access control to manipulate things in development. Then I have another service principle that has uh, been configured and has access to production. Um, this means that if somebody were to get access to uh, one of those uh, one of those uh, identities, they couldn't they couldn't affect the other environment. So um, that allows me to kind of create administrator access for humans, so that they only have access to respective um, service principles. So creates a little bit of a blast radius between your environments. So now the last thing that I'm going to do, um, I don't think I have any more um, work to do in Azure Active Directory. I'm just going to go create. A resource group, um, yeah, and I'm just going to call it RG Terraform State. I'm going to put it in US West, West US, RG Terraform State. Not going to tag it. All right, now. That's in development. So I need to create another one in production. You can use the same name. It's going to be US West. West US. And there we go. OK, one wunderbar. So now what I'm going to do is in um, RG, Ter RG Terraform state, I'm going to create a storage account and we're just going to go, you know, I, 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 I'm a big fan of using random, I mean, using random uh, values. So I'm just going to say the limit is looking for like a six digit number, right? So that yeah, looks good enough. So for the storage account in dev, 
I'm going to call it ST state and then that number. And then it's going to be in West US. West US. Geo redundant, that's fine. No biggie. Not too concerned about this stuff. We're good. Might, might change this stuff later, who knows, but. Um, blob, blobs and files only. Yeah, I think we're good. a really long validation period. So let me just go generate another one of these and we're going to make that in production. Yes. So I'm going to go create a new resource, storage account. Terraform state is kind of, it's like a ST state. It's kind of like the catch 22 chicken versus the egg kind of thing. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to provision it using Terraform if you're not going to maintain the state. I suppose like it would also keep some of these configuration values. And we've done this in a previous episode. We've created Terraform State, a resource group, and a, a storage account um, using Terraform. And basically, you just have a local state, and the state you just delete the state file. Who cares? Don't you're not going to manage the the Terraform State using the Terraform backend using Terraform because like where where would you put the state for it? Doesn't make a lot of sense. So there we go. So we now have a storage account um, in each re in in US West. That's our primary region for both development and production. And so if I go in here, I can see my storage account. I'm just going to grab that. And so now I need a backend configuration for um, these these two environments. And so what I'm going to do here, I guess I could just, I guess I could just add it. I'm used to creating a new variable group for the backend. This is just me. Um, just in case, you know, you change um, the backend storage account name okay then it's going to be backend resource group and that's rg terraform state and then you're going to have backend um, storage container name and we'll just call that tf state I think that's pretty much all that we need. So we, we do need to create the container. So I'm going to create a container called TF state, private, no anonymous access. That's what we want. Then I'm going to go to my other storage account, which should be there by now, create the same container. So again, it's, um, you need to have a unique, you need to have a unique storage account name because they're glo it's a globally unique resource. But I mean, it really doesn't matter if everything else is the same and it kind of makes things a little easier, right? So now all this is the same and I can just hit smash clone and I can just call this, uh, uh, what's going on here? So I've got a copy. I'm just going to, Oh yeah, change this to prod and then get rid of the dash copy because that's silly. 
and then let's just go grab the right. Is this one in prod? Yeah, this is prod. So grab that value there. And so now there we there you have it. So we have we have our back end configured for US West, um, dev and prod. We have the Terraform credentials set up for dev and prod. And I'm ready to start configuring multi-environment pipelines that are going to store state in separate subscriptions, in separate storage accounts. And I'm going to provision the same infrastructure across two different subscriptions using the same pipe, using the same pipeline template. So um, this is a very common pattern of how you can use Terraform and Azure to basically use the same template, but also leverage security boundaries to, to protect yourself and to protect your environments from, you know, malicious, malicious users. So I hope you found this helpful. We'll, we'll build on this, um, set up in future episodes as we start laying the tracks, laying the foundation for our, uh, our new environment where we're going to be really building out a lot of cool stuff. We're going to be building out a, a multi-region VWAN. We're going to be building out um, some Packer infrastructure. We're going to be building out some Kubernetes infrastructure. So it's a lot, a lot of cool stuff coming. Um, this is just like some basics just to get the, the infrastructure's code environment set up so that we can have a clean and organized security framework um, to, to start you know, roll, rolling things out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give me a like and uh, so make sure you subscribe and smash the notifications so you can see when I post the next video because um, a lot, lot more coming. So uh, thanks, thanks again and see you next time on Azure Terraformer. See you.